Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're bringing you the last game of this series between the Florida Marlins and the New York Mets, live from Dolphin Stadium. I'm Jack Berluzzi, and I'll be your commentator today. And the game gets underway. The Marlins' starting lineup looks like this. Playing second base, Ugla. Catching today is Olivo. Starting for the Marlins is Willis. Jose Reyes has been in top form as a batter this season. He's set to deliver the first pitch. That's a strike. Infield pop-up. He got it. One away. Willis catches the easy pop-up. Next up, Paul Loduca. He's set to deliver the first pitch. That's a strike. That's a strike. Count 0 and 2. That changeup has some drop. Oduka strikes out. No Next at bat, Carlos Beltran. Carlos Beltran. Here we go for the first pitch. It's a strike. Ground ball straight to shortstop. Throwing to first. Out. There's the third out. No runs. No hits. No errors. The Mets, 0. The Marlins, 0. Starting for the Mets is Lavin. Here's the starting lineup for the Mets. The Marlins are now up to bat. Leading off is the first batter in their lineup, Henley Ramirez. He already has seven homers in September. That's low and outside. Ball. It's a strike. Can he battle back? That's just off the inside corner for a ball. The count is even. There's the next pitch. Goes after it, but comes up empty. Strike three. He retires the leadoff batter with a strikeout. Next up, Dan Ugla. Just missed the inside corner. Ball. Ground ball right back to the pitcher. How about first? Out. Two away. Ugla is retired on an infield grounder. Next at bat, Mike Jacobs. Here we go for the first pitch. It's a strike. He's behind in the count. Pop fly to the catcher. He caught it. There's the third out. No runs. No hits. No errors. At the end of the first inning, the Marlins, zero. The Mets, zero. We are going to face the number four, five, and six batters this inning. He's set to deliver the first pitch. It's a strike. Line drive straight between first and second. Hit to right field. Delgado gets a base hit to right field. We have a runner on with no outs. David Wright has been in top form as a batter this season. Riding a three-game hitting streak is now at the plate. He pulled that one well. Wright gets a base hit to left field. Looks like they could capitalize on this. Our next batter, Moises Alou. It's a strike. Just missed the outside corner for a ball. Throw to second. How about first? Save it first. Andy Chavez, who is in his sixth year in the big leagues, is now up to bat. Out of zone, ball. strike. Count two and one. Here's the two one pitch. It's a strike. Count two and two. The count is even. There's the next pitch. Send it home. Safe. The Mets put the first run on the scoreboard. Next at bat, Miguel Cairo. The Mets could stretch their lead here. There's the first pitch and it's hit. Foul. Good swing. Foul. Stairs a bit high. Ball. 
Foul ball. He drives it to the opposite field. Down the first baseline. Fair ball. The umpire says safe. The ruling is a fielder's choice. In the batter's box is the pitcher, Tom Glavin. The Mets could stretch their lead here. Just a bit low and outside. Ball. Just missed the outside corner for a ball. Glavin is looking at the pitches very well today. Here is the 2-1 pitch. Strike. The count is 2-2. Here's the next pitch. Foul ball. Pop fly to the catcher. Infield fly. Holy ball. Caught that one. Jose Reyes has been in top form as a batter this season. He's set to deliver the first pitch. That's a strike. It's going deep into left center. This could be a home run. It's a homer. See ya. The season's second grand slam. Five to nothing. The Mets extend their lead to five. And he touches home plate after circling the bases. Now batting, Paul Loduca. He's set to deliver the first pitch. It's a strike. He put that first pitch right in there. Ground ball straight to the third baseman. Out. That's the final out. Five runs, three hits, no errors. We enter the bottom of the second inning. The Mets, five. The Marlins, zero. We are going to face the number four, five, and six batters this inning. Miguel Cabrera has been in top form as a batter this season. He currently leads the majors in hits. Riding a 10-game hitting streak is now at the plate. Out! One away. Cabrera grounds to short and is retired. Josh Willingham has been in top form as a batter this season. Pop fly to the catcher. Foul ball. It's going outside. Ball. The count is even. Here comes the next pitch. He whiffed at that one. Our next batter, Cody Ross. Here we go with the first pitch. That's a strike. That's a strike. Line drive. There's a hit. Alou is going after it. The batter is going for second. The batter stops at second base. Ross hits a double into the gap of left center field. Next up, Miguel Olivo. He has three walk-off home runs this season already. Riding a nine-game hitting streak is now at the plate. The ball has hit the outfield for a base hit. It's a base hit to the outfield. Batter stops on second. The Marlins get two consecutive hits. Our next batter, Joe Burchard. It's a strike. Count 0-1. Count 1-1. Going to right field. There's a pop-up landing in the stands in foul territory. Swings and misses. He's gone. Borchard strikes out. One run, two hits, no errors. One man left on base. At the end of the second inning, the Marlins won. The Mets, five. The Mets are now up to bat. He's set to deliver the first pitch. That's a strike. Count 0-1. Strike! Count 0-2. Jams him. Willis got that one. One away. Willis catches the easy pop-up. Carlos Delgado has had a base hit already in this game. Here we go with the first pitch. It's a strike. He let that one go by. It's a ball. Count 1-1. Off the head of the bat. They're throwing to first. Out. Two away. Delgado grounds to second and is retired. David Wright got a single in his last at bat. Strike on a ball down around the knees. Count 0 and 1. The ball has hit the outfield for a base hit. It's a base hit to the outfield. Right, gets a base hit to center field. Next at bat, Moises Alou. He's set to deliver the first pitch. Ball. Five to one. The Mets lead by four runs at this point. Here is the 2-1 pitch. Strike. 
The count is 2-2. Here's the next pitch. He caught it. There's the third out. No runs, one hit, no errors, one man left on base. We enter the bottom of the third inning. The Mets, five. The Marlins, one. The Marlins are leading off in this inning with the last batter in their lineup. Dontrell Willis will lead off the inning. Line drive to the pitcher. One away. Next at bat, Henley Ramirez. He already has seven homers in September. Here we go, the first pitch. Strike. Pop fly to the catcher. Foul ball. Liner to center field. The ball has hit the outfield for a base hit. It's a base hit to the outfield. The batter has rounded first for second. Batter stops on second. Our next batter, Dan Ugla. He grounded back to the pitcher his first time up. Here we go for the first pitch. Strike. The ball has hit the outfield for a base hit. It's a base hit to the outfield. Runner on second goes for home base. Ugla hits an RBI base hit up the alley in right center. Next up, Mike Jacobs. He popped up to the catcher in foul territory, his first at bat. Infield grounder. Right between second base and shortstop. Hit to center field. Jacobs gets a base hit to center field. Miguel Cabrera has been in top form as a batter this season. He currently leads the majors in hits. Riding a 10-game hitting streak is now at the plate. That ball went too far to the left. Foul. Grounder headed for the third baseman. Throw to second. How about first? Save it first. No. Josh Willingham has been in top form as a batter this season. Here we go, the first pitch. Strike on a ball down around the knees. Going to the opposite field. Throwing to first. That's the final out. One run, three hits, no errors, two men left on base. At the end of the third inning, the Marlins, two, the Mets, five. And we're going into the fourth inning. Here we go, the first pitch. It's a strike. Count 0 and 1. Down low, just missed. Ball. That's a strike. He's behind in the count. Caught looking at a pitch down in the zone. He couldn't even react to that pitch. Now in the batter's box, Miguel Cairo. Here we go, the first pitch. Strike. He let that one go by. It's a ball. Strike. Can he battle back? Changeup has some drop. Two consecutive strikeouts. Now in the batter's box, Tom Glavin. He's set to deliver the first pitch. It's a strike. He put that first pitch right in there. Just missed the outside corner for a ball. Count one and one. The ball makes contact near the grip. Throwing to first. Out. There's the third out. No runs. No hits. No errors. We enter the bottom of the fourth inning. The Mets, five. The Marlins, two. The Marlins are down by three runs. Cody Ross has had a double already in this game. Pulled inside. It's a ball just inside the left field line. It's a hit. He throws to second. The batter stops at second base. Miguel Olivo has had a double already in this game. He has three walk-off home runs this season already. It's a strike. Line drives going right between shortstop and third. Hit to left field. Olivo gets a base hit to left field. Olivo hits back-to-back -back base hits. Joe Burchard, now at bat, is very good at hitting to the opposite field. He drives it to the opposite field. The Marlins pick up a run. Runner on first is going for third. Borchard batting in the clutch gets a hit down the right field foul line. Next up, Tontrell Willis. Here we go, the first pitch. Here's the first pitch, and it's a hit. Line drive straight between first and second. Clean hit, shallow right. 
Willis batting in the clutch gets a hit to right field. Henley Ramirez got a double in his left at bat. He already has seven homers in September. The Marlins could take the lead here. Foul. Strike. He's behind in the count. Swings and misses. He's gone. He whiffed at that one. Dan Ugla has a chance to turn things around. Here we go with the first pitch. He hits the first pitch. Foul. Foul ball. Off the head of the bat. Line drive straight between first and second. Clean hit, shallow right. Second base runner comes home. The Marlins have just tied the game. Next at bat, Mike Jacobs. He's set to deliver the first pitch. He caught it. The runners go back to their bases. Jacobs retires with a pop-up fly in the foul territory. Miguel Cabrera has been in top form as a batter this season. He currently leads the majors in hits. Riding a 10-game hitting streak is now at the plate. He's under it. That was an easy catch. There's the third out. Three runs, five hits, no errors, two men left on base. At the end of the fourth inning, the Marlins, five. The Mets, five. They are leading off in this inning from the top of their batting lineup. The Mets, Jose Reyes, hit a grand slam in his last at-bat. It's a strike. Pop fly to the catcher. Foul. That's a razor-sharp slider. That's some nice pitching from Willis. Next at bat, Paul Loduca. He's set to deliver the first pitch. He hits the first pitch. Throwing to first. Out. Loduca grounds to short and is retired. Our next batter, Carlos Beltran. Here we go for the first pitch. It's a strike. Let that one go by. It's a ball. Here is the 2-1 pitch. Strike. Swings and misses. He's gone. Willis showing us some wonderful left-handed pitching. No runs. No hits. No errors. We enter the bottom of the fifth inning. The Mets, five. The Marlins, five. The Marlins are now up to bat. Josh Willingham has been in top form as a batter this season. Pulled inside. Foul ball. Foul ball. Just missed the inside corner. Ball. Off to the pitcher's left. Went right past him. Hit to center field. He throws to the cutoff man. Willingham gets a base hit to center field. The Marlins put their leadoff batter on base. Cody Ross has had a base hit already in this game. He drives it to the opposite field. He got it. Willingham is going back to first from halfway. He has three walk-off home runs this season already. He's set to deliver the first pitch. That line drives going right between shortstop and third. Hit to left field. Olivo gets a base hit. The Marlins might just take the lead here. Joe Burchard has had one RBI so far in this game. It's a strike. Foul ball. Pulled inside. Throw to first. Two away. Tontrell Willis has had a base hit already in this game. He's set to deliver the first pitch. That's a strike. He put that first pitch right in there. Strike. Count 0-2. Just missed the inside corner. Ball. Glavin has thrown 70 pitches so far in this game. The bat makes contact with the ball. How about first? That's the final out. No runs, two hits, no errors, two men left on base. The Marlins, five. The Mets, five. Timeout. The Marlins are putting in a new pitcher. Messenger is the second pitcher for the team to take them out in this game. Randy Messenger. He's set to deliver the first pitch. Just missed the outside corner for a ball.
Delgado is looking at the pitches very well today. Going to center field. Borchard comes in. Delgado Number gets a base hit five. to center field. David Wright. Here we go for the first pitch. That's a strike. Count 0-1. It's a strike. He's behind in the count. Going to right field. Drops in for a base hit. He throws to the cutoff man. Wright gets a base hit. There are no outs with the go-ahead runner on base. Our next batter, Moises Alou. Line drive up the middle between second and shortstop. Hit to center field. The second base runner tries home during this throw. Safe. The Mets have taken a one-run lead. Andy Chavez has had one RBI so far in this game. It's a strike. It's a strike. He's behind in the count. Swings and misses. He's gone. Chavez has struck out in two consecutive at-bats. Next up, Miguel Cairo. Here we go for the first pitch. It's a strike. Down low, just missed. Ball. It's a strike. He is in a big hole. Caught looking at a pitch down in the zone. He couldn't even react to that pitch. Next at bat, Tom Glavin. He's set to deliver the first pitch. Infield fly. That was an easy catch. That's the final out. One run, three hits, no errors, two men left on base. We enter the bottom of the sixth inning. The Mets, six. The Mets, five. There's a timeout on the field. The Mets are putting in a new pitcher. Seeley is the second pitcher for the team to take him out in this game. He's set to deliver the first pitch. It's a strike. He takes a big cut. He is in a big hole. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Ramirez has struck out in two consecutive at-bats. Dan Ugla has had a base hit already in this game. Here we go for the first pitch. That's a strike. Count 0-1. He let that one go by. It's a ball. The count is 2-1. Here's the next pitch. He pulled that foul. Throw first. Out. Two away. Ugla grounds to third and is retired. Mike Jacobs has had a base hit already in this game. He's set to deliver the first pitch. That's a strike. That's a strike. He's behind in the count. Pitch is out in this situation. Goes after it, but comes up empty. Strike three. Jacobs strikes out. No runs, no hits, no errors. The Marlins, five. The Mets, six. And the game heads into the seventh inning. Jose Reyes has had four RBIs so far in this game. Strike. Swing and a miss. He's behind in the count. Swing and a miss, strike three. Reyes strikes out. Next at bat, Paul Loduca. He's set to deliver the first pitch. Strike. It's a strike. He's behind in the count. Ugla got that one. Two away. Messenger retires the batter with a liner to second. Next up, Carlos Beltran. He's set to deliver the first pitch. Outside corner for a strike. He put that first pitch right in there. Foul ball. Ground ball straight to the second baseman. Out. There's the third out. No runs. No hits. No errors. 
We enter the bottom of the seventh inning. The Mets, six. The Marlins, five. Six batters are up this inning. Miguel Cabrera has been in top form as a batter this season. He currently leads the majors in hits. Riding a 10-game hitting streak is now at the plate. Pass the right, a shortstop. Hit to center field. He throws to the cutoff man. Cabrera gets a base hit to center field. Josh Willingham has been in top form as a batter this season. The Marlins are putting in a pinch runner. Amezaga, fleet-footed indeed, replaces the first base runner. Here we go, the first pitch. Strike on a ball down around the knees. Strike. That makes contact with the ball. Reyes caught that one. Number 12, Cody Ross. He's set to deliver the first pitch. Going to center field. He got it. The first base runner is off the base. Number 30, Miguel. Here we go, the first pitch. It's a strike. Strike. He's behind in the count. Strike three. He's out. Strike out. No runs, one hit, no errors, one man left on base. At the end of the seventh inning, the Marlins, five, the Mets, six. We are going to face the number four, five, and six batters this inning. Carlos Delgado has had a base hit already in this game. He's set to deliver the first pitch. That's a strike. Going to center field. There's a hit. Delgado gets a base hit. Delgado gets a base hit. His third of the day. David Wright is a solid three for three in this game. Fly to shallow center field. Borchard comes in. There's a hit. Going to third. Wright gets a base hit to center field. He has base hits in his last four at bats. Moises Alou has had a base hit already in this game. There's a timeout on the field. And it looks as though they're bringing in a pinch runner. Milledge, fleet footed indeed, replaces the third base runner. It's low, just missing the inside corner. Ball. Strike. Count one and two. Liner to left field. It's a hit. Relay to shortstop. The Mets extend their lead to two. Alou batting in the clutch gets a hit to left field. Alou gets his second RBI of the game. Andy Chavez has had one RBI so far in this game. Going to the opposite field. Line drive. Shot pass third. Relay to shortstop. The second base runner tries home during this throw. The Mets get another run. Chavez batting in the clutch gets a hit down the left field foul line. Chavez gets his second RBI of the game. Miguel Cairo has struck out in his two plate appearances so far. Time out. The Marlins are putting in a new pitcher. Julio is the third pitcher for the team to take the mound in this game. Here we go for the first pitch. There's the first pitch, and it's hit. Foul. It's a strike. Pulled inside. Ball going between shortstop and third. That's it for an infield base hit. Aaron Seeley is now at the plate. He went into this game in the sixth inning. Going to the opposite field. Line drive straight between first and second. Hit to right field. The Mets get another run. Safe. That's the fourth run this inning for the Mets. Now this is what you call a big inning. Jose Reyes has struck out twice in this game. Pop fly to the catcher. That was an easy catch. The runners go back to their bases. Reyes flies out in the foul territory. Paul Loduca, who is in his ninth year in the big leagues, is now up to bat. The right fielder's trying to get under it. Drops in for a base hit. 
Oaks. Send it home. The Mets get another run. Loduka hits an RBI base hit up the alley in right center. The Mets go right through the batting order. There's no stopping them. Next at bat, Carlos Beltran going to center field. It's a hit. He throws to the cutoff man. Beltran gets a base hit to center field. Lasting's Milaj, used as a pinch runner, is now at bat. Strike. Strike. He's behind in the count. Routine ground ball. He got it. Throwing to first. David Wright has an excellent four for four at bats in this game. Here we go for the first pitch. That's a strike. Pop fly to the catcher. Foul ball. It's going deep center field. Drops in for a base hit. The Mets extend their lead to seven. Throwing to second. Wright hits it over the center fielder's head for an RBI double. Wright gets his second RBI of the game. Here we go for the first pitch. That one clearly missed the strike zone. Ball. He pulled that one well. The runner is tagged out. Seven runs, nine hits, no errors, two men left on base. The Mets, 13. The Marlins, five. The Marlins are now up to bat. Joe Burchard has a base hit already in this game. Here we go with the first pitch. That's a strike. Count 0-1. He let that one go by. It's a ball. Count one and one. Upstairs a bit high. Ball. Borchard is looking at the pitches very well today. The count is 2-1. Here's the next pitch. The count is even. Here comes the next pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. He retires the leadoff batter with a strikeout. Now in the batter's box, Jorge Julio. There's a timeout on the field. The Marlins are putting in a new hitter. Now batting, Ross Glode. Here we go with the first pitch. That's a strike. Count 0-1. Pop fly to the catcher. Foul ball. Goes after it, but comes up empty. Strike three. Two consecutive strikeouts. Our next batter, Henley Ramirez. He already has seven homers in September. Out of zone, ball. The count is 2-1. Here's the next pitch. He swung on it. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Pulled inside. That's the end of the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. At the end of the eighth inning, the Marlins, 5. The Mets, 13. Timeout. The Marlins are putting in a new pitcher. Mitre is the fourth pitcher for the team to take the mound in this game. Sergio Mitre. He's set to deliver the first pitch. Swing and a miss. Foul ball. Good swing. Throwing to first. Out. One away. Chavez is retired on an infield grounder. Miguel Cairo has struck out in his two plate appearances so far. That one clearly missed the strike zone. Ball. It's a strike. Hit high in the air towards third. He caught it. Two away. Mitre retires the hitter and up up to short. Aaron Seeley is now at the plate. He went into this game in the sixth inning. It's going outside. Ball. Count 1-0. and Ball. That's a strike.
fly to shallow left field. There's a hit. He throws to the cutoff man. Seeley gets a base hit to left field. Seeley hits back-to-back -back base hits. Jose Reyes has had a base hit already in this game. Swing and miss again. Count 0 and 2. Count 1 and 2. Good swing. Foul. Line drive up the middle between second and shortstop. Hit to center field. Reyes gets a base hit to center field. The Mets has 18 hits in the game today. Paul Paducah has had a base hit already in this game. Strike. It's a strike. Count is even. Here comes the next pitch. Foul. Far inside, it's a ball. He might have overdone that one a little. Pop fly to shortstop. That was an easy catch. That's the end of the inning. No runs, two hits, no errors, two men left on base. The Mets, 13. The Marlins, 5. There's a timeout on the field. The Mets are putting in a new pitcher. Wagner is the third pitcher for the team to take the mound in this game. Here we go with the first pitch. There's the first pitch, and it's hit. Out. One away. Mike Jacobs has had a base hit already in this game. Here we go with the first pitch. Fouled it off his foot. The center fielder's trying to get under it. Beltran caught that one. Aaron Boone is now at the plate. He went into this game in the eighth inning. He's set to deliver the first pitch. Foul ball. Down low, just missed. Ball. Upstairs a bit high. Ball. Boone is looking at the pitches very well today. The ball makes contact near the grip. Throw to first. Out. And that wraps it up. The Mets, at last, they've broken their losing streak. Lavin. The losing pitcher is Messenger. His sixth loss this season. As you've just seen, the Marlins couldn't pull this one out. I'm Jack Merluzzi, and I've been your commentator. Join us next time.